Welcome to Slab Bazaar's PowerPoint for Pros, a video series that will help you become better at PowerPoint. This video is part 3 of our viral PowerPoint design video series. If you want to check out part 1 and 2, check out the links in the description or the pop-ups on this video. In this video, we're going to look at how you can create these slides and also learn some useful PowerPoint tricks along the way. Before we start, if you want to 10x your PowerPoint productivity, check out this free PowerPoint add-in from Sly Bazaar that gives you access to tons of resources and special tools that you can use to create presentations easily. It also has an AI-powered presentation creator which you can use to create stunning slides in seconds. Check out the link in the description to know more. Anyway, let's move on to the video. Let's start with this slide design. Start by going to Insert and inserting an image like this. Hold Ctrl on your keyboard and click and drag the images to create duplicates as shown. And then select them all and go to Home, Arrange, Align and click on Distribute Vertically. Then let's press Ctrl plus G on the keyboard to group them. And once grouped, hold Ctrl and click and drag them to create duplicates as shown. When you have enough duplicates, go to Arrange, Align and click on Distribute Horizontally to evenly distribute them on your slide. Now, right click the background of the slide and go to Format Background. And there, choose Fill and add an appropriate fill color. Then, let's select all the groups and ungroup them by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus G. Once that is done, we'll add a text onto the slide as shown. Make sure you use a large font style for this text. Once that is done, hold Ctrl and click all the images below the text to select them all. And then go to Home, Arrange and click on Bring to Front. This is to make the text appear from behind the images as we will see in a bit. Also, in the meantime, let's select the text and align it to center and middle as shown. Your first slide is ready. Let's now go to the left side and duplicate the slide by pressing Ctrl plus D or right clicking it and creating a duplicate. Now, on the original slide, Let's move the text out of the way as shown. And then we'll select all the images and make changes to them. For now, I am just going to rotate all of them. And then just select both slides on the left and go to Transitions and select Morph and you're done. Here's what it looks like now. You can use the same approach to make similar slides. Alright, let's move on to slide design number 2. Here's what it looks like. Also, before we move on, if you like what you're watching, a subscribe would mean a lot to us. Alright, let's start by right-clicking the slide and changing the background color to black. Next, go to Insert and let's insert a picture of a torch. Next, we'll go to Insert and insert a trapezoid onto the slide. Let's adjust the shape so that it looks more like a beam of light spreading from a source. We'll also right click the shape and in format shape, we'll change the fill color to white and set line as no line. Once that is done, let's place it right at the front of the torch picture and we'll go to Home and click on Arrange and send it to the back. Make some final tweaks and adjustments to align the beam with the torch. And then, let's make this look even better. Let's add an oval shape to the slide. And in Format Shape, let's change the fill color again to white and set line as no line. We'll also decrease the transparency as shown and add a white glow and increase the size and transparency. Now click and drag one of the corners of the oval to elongate it 
and then place it over the beam we created as shown. Once that is done, select the image, the beam and the oval and press Ctrl plus G to group them all together. Once you have created this group, position it where you want it on the slide for now. We will come back to it later. On the left outline, duplicate the slide and now on the duplicate, reposition the shape as shown pointing downwards. Then hold Ctrl and click and drag the shape to create duplicates as shown. And finally, select them all, go to Home, Arrange, Align and Distribute Horizontally. Now, let's add the text you want on your slides. I am just going to add some pre-formatted text with different fonts, font colors and sizes. You can add whatever you want. You can resize the text or the light beams and adjust them exactly as you want. Once done, I like to select the text boxes and distribute them horizontally as shown. Let's make some more tweaks to the content. Now that the slide is ready, let's duplicate it 4 times. And one by one, on each slide, make sure only one torch appears by deleting the rest as shown. Once that is done, let's go back to the first slide and add some text. I am going to add this text right here in such a way that the torch becomes the eye in the word. And I am going to move it around a bit to make it look good. And then I will create a duplicate of the slide and click and drag it to the very end of the slideshow as shown. Finally, let's select all of the slides and go to transitions and select morph to get this. I hope you've learned how to create two incredible slide designs today. For more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to check out Slabasa's free PowerPoint add-in. The link will be in the description.